What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can, and today we're gonna to be doing a huge upgrade. It took a long time to find out how to fix this. I was on the forums for many years and I finally found it. So let me show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So whenever I wanted to fill up my car at the gas station, it would puke out gas all over the place, which was super annoying. Nothing is worse than getting gas all over your paint. So on the Mustang forums, I found a guy named Doug and he makes modified fuel filler necks with a modern insert, which makes filling up your car as easy as a modern car. With this modified neck, the fuel nozzle will shut off when the tank is full, and it will hold the fuel nozzle in place hands-free. He specifically makes these necks for 1965 to 1970 Mustangs. However, I think anyone can convert their filler neck with the same concept. You can definitely reach out to him for instructions. So I purchased it from him a few days ago, and he was super easy to work with. I think a lot of people will find this product helpful, so I'll leave all his information down below. So as you can see, there are a bunch of marks on the outside of the filler neck. These indentations were made by a hammer hitting a punch. They basically keep the insert from moving down the neck. He also used a bunch of JB Weld around the insert to secure it in place. As you can see, there's a flap inside that opens up for the fuel nozzle. So if you're interested, Doug sells these necks with the insert pre-installed, as well as DIY insert kits. So with that being said, let's get to the install. The first thing I did was remove the original fuel filler neck, which is just held by a few screws behind the gas cap, and then two hose clamps inside the trunk. Then it was time to install the new filler neck, which actually looks super neat because of its zinc coating. The best part about this upgrade was that it only took a few minutes to install. So now it's time to test it out. So we're at the gas station. I'm super excited because this has been a problem for me for many, many years, or at least since I got the car. I've done all the different tricks, you know, holding the handle sideways, upside down. It all doesn't work. It just spits out gas. So I'm a little nervous because I really want this to work. So we're gonna test if the gas nozzle stays in place and we'll see if it will shut off without me having to do anything and hopefully there won't be any gas leakage. So we're gonna go in. I don't know, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> Hopefully this is okay and it won't drop out and just shoot gas all over. This makes me very nervous. I feel like I need to like hold it, but we'll just watch. <laughs> so it just shut off by itself. No gas leakage. So I have to say that's a success. Well, since the Mustang's out, let's take it for a spin. What did you find, Dad? Um, I've been watching this garage for a long time. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know why it hasn't been fixed. Wow, this is pretty crazy. It looks like a total barn find. Yeah. <laughs> There's a roadster body there, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at the roof. Yeah, that roof definitely doesn't stop any rain. So that was pretty cool. I was able to have the gas nozzle in the car. It wouldn't fall out. And when it was full, it automatically turned off and there was no gas that shot out. So that's all I need. I'm stoked. But there's a couple things that make me nervous. Obviously the insert is held in by JB Weld. And I don't know about a long-term review. I saw online that someone actually welded their insert in there. But in my case, I just went with the one that was pre-installed and ready to go. But honestly, it looked like it was well done and I think it's gonna hold up. So I'll keep an eye on it but I'm stoked. So when it comes to these classic cars, it's all about fixing those small things that really bother you and you know make it irritating to go drive the car. So I've been doing that over the course of you know the existence of my 1965 Mustang since I got it. And it's almost there. It's really fun to drive right now. The only thing is to put in a new steering box. We'll see about that, but I don't know you guys, you know, just get out there and drive and fix the small things. <laughs> 